Hello everyone to another 5 minute tutorial. Today I bring you something really, really cool, alright? So check it out. So what this is, is this is a, a, a mesh gradient generator. So what this does is it creates a mesh with colors that you can select and can adjust, right? Uh, and you can also change the colors right there, okay? Um, so you can add in your backgrounds, right? So if you're like me and you want dynamic backgrounds, you like dynamic backgrounds, but that don't take the attention away from your main message, then meshes are just amazing to work with, right? So usually what I usually do was uh, creating an image in Adobe Illustrator, in Figma, whatever that is, with a few colors uh, that I liked and then created something like this. But the problem with that, and you're already imagining that, right? The problem with that is that you are going to use that in the background, like a 1920 by 1080, and it's going to weigh something around 200 kilobytes, right? So if you have a lot of sections in your funnel with those images in the background, it's going to make your funnel just load really, really slow, right? So with this tool, with Masher, what you actually do is you have the exact same effect to add into your background, but 10 times as fast, right? So check this out. So what this color does is you can create these crazy good meshes, right? And you can create it by randomize, you can customize it yourself, right? Just play around with the tool and you can then adjust the mesh. So here, these handlers here, you can adjust and move it around so the color takes in a different space. Now, the great part about it is that you can go individual to each color and adjust the size that it takes in your uh, mesh, all right? So there you go, you can do this. Now, another thing that you can do, all right, is you can adjust the color by the hue, all right? Which is pretty insane. Now, after that, you can do several more stuff. You can add more colors if you want. You can keep randomizing it. You can keep adjusting it. But then, you, when you find the color or the mesh that you like, you can actually copy it in the CSS code. Or if you want to check it out, you can go here. And then you can go straight to your funnel, go to your CSS, paste it there. And now you just need to go to your section, copy the ID, go back to CSS real quick. Okay. Paste it there. And guess what happens? You have the mesh effect, all right, right there in the background. And no matter how the, the length or the height of the section is going to always adjust because it's a CSS code. It's going to adjust without pushing too much on your loading speed, all right? So this was another episode for the five minute tutorials. If you like this one, uh, let me know in the comments. I always appreciate hearing your feedback. And if you want to know more about CSS and other tricks, please make, sh uh, make sure that you actually check my CSS Master Bundle as I have a lot of great tips and tricks. Over 20 videos there. Over 20 videos with more than 20 pieces of code that you can adjust and create to all, all of your funnels. That's pretty amazing. So, if you are interested, go check it out. This was another episode of 5 Minute Tutorials. Have a good one.